Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into a new provider called Destroy Ref. It was introduced in Angular 16 and it will allow us to actually register destroy callbacks for a specific lifecycle scope. And you might think this is something we already have with the ng on destroy. So why would we need the new provider? And I'll explain shortly to you why it's needed and how we can utilize it to simplify our lives as developers. So first and foremost, when we work with Subscriptions in Angular usually you would have to define a variable called uh, subscription here. You would have to set up, uh, assign it here to the subscription that you have, and then you would have to unsubscribe to it on destroy. So there's a couple of steps you have to do in order for you to actually destroy it, which is quite annoying. So there are alternative ways, which would be to use the subject and so on, and, and use it and destroy it by utilizing the take until but you still need to inject the ng on destroy. There's nothing that can be really reused in a very good way. You could probably have clauses and you could probably have uh, directives that would help with this, but the way we now can use the destroy ref will simplify our lives as developer by far. So imagine now we're creating a util function here, which will essentially, let's call it destroy. The destroy function will have a subject and this subject here will um, then be used. So we'll use the inject which comes from Angular core and we will use the destroy ref that they introduced and then we can tap into the on destroy function here and then we can make sure that when the component or whatever we're using is destroyed we will make sure that this subject or the observable that we use will be unsubscribed. All right, so now we only need to return a callback function or a function here that will utilize the take until, and it will, in this case, just return the subject as an observable. So what we can do now, obviously this function should be placed somewhere else, like in the utils folder, so that it could be reused in many cases, I'm placing it here just for visibility purposes. All right. so. What we could do now is we could say private destroy is going to we're going to call the function that we just created and then we will make sure that we create a new here a new call which would use the pipe and here we can just call our destroy function like this so we can say data and here we are going to assign the data all right so we can give this a type for now you should not use any types. I'm using it just for visibility purposes to simplify the way the video would flow. So in this case, we are piping and we're using the pipe that we just created. So it's essentially a function that returns an observable, which is take until, and we will use the subject. And also keep in mind that we're destroying or we're completing the sub subject on destroy. So in, in, the, in the sense that we're using it here, whenever we are destroying the component, it will trigger this, which will come down here, and it will unsubscribe to the subscriptions that we have. So this means that we can remove a, sh a lot of boilerplate code that we would have written before. So you tell me, was this a good thing or not? Thank you for watching, guys. All of the best. Bye.